I wrote an article last week about this. It's on VT.com about the FBI, CISA, and other federal agencies beginning to talk again to social media companies uh, about disinformation ahead of the November election. Uh, Kelly, if you could just pull up my article thumbnail. So what we have here is a, um, a report from nextgov.com who uh, attended a conference that um, Senator Mark Warner attended. He is the chairman of the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence. He's a Democrat. Uh, in the Senate, he said that the uh, Biden administration um, has been too timid to engage with social media companies over the last six months. Those are his words. Uh, and, and what does he mean by engage? What he means is um, previously during the 2020 election and during the um, COVID pandemic, uh, the Biden administration directly talked to social media companies, uh, Google and uh, other platforms to tell them what should and should not be allowed on the Internet in the name of misinformation and disinformation. Um, as we know, famously, the uh, Hunter Biden laptop story was suppressed. That was in no small part because of communications between the uh, Democrat uh, camp and the deep state and uh, uh, the and Google. And then there was also reports from Jim Jordan. So hold on quickly on that, just on that specific instance. So yeah. in addition to big tech censorship of mm -hmm. the actual story, then there was also the New York Post publishing the names of 51 intelligence officers who said that that was Russian disinformation. Right. So they were, they were hitting it on both fronts. They're suppressing the story while also creating disinformation that they're then putting out into the public sphere. Eiffel right. Tower. Yeah, so... <laughs> So you have, I mean, That's basically, as BizDoc <laughs> says, you could fit a thin piece of paper between big tech and the government at this point. It's the same thing. So it's a good um, BizDoc impersonation. Yeah. <laughs> Stats. Gosh, damn it. Um, so Rep. Jim Jordan, uh, in his capacity as the select subcommittee on the the chair of the select subcommittee on the weaponization of the federal government, uh, put out a hundred page report in November about how. Um, the federal government had suppressed conservative voices in the 2020 election. It's very detailed. It explains how they directly um, asked Twitter. It's part of the Twitter files to, you know, get certain tweets off offline. And then Jordan followed that up with a second report confirming that the Biden White House had directly told YouTube supporters to suppress disinformation about the uh, cookie vaccine. As we said before, we can't say that. So um, it was also discovered in March that the federal government has gone so far as to demand the IP addresses and identities of users that watch specific videos on YouTube. And then a March report from none other than the Media Research Center, who we just had on, uh, uh, found that Google had interfered at least 41 times since 2008 in American elections. And now Mark Warner is saying that as the Supreme Court case, Murphy versus Mississippi, uh, wraps up, um, the uh, so basically that case was um, filed by the Attorney General of Missouri, Eric Schmidt, um, alleging that the Biden administration violated the First Amendment by engaging with social media companies in this way. But it's looking like the Supreme Court is going to err on the side of the government. So now the Biden White House is getting more confident again, and they're sending their FBI and the Cybersecurity or Infrastructure Security Agency, or CISA, uh, to now begin talks again with social media companies just in time because the 2024 election is underway. How many organizations are there within the federal government that we're not aware of? Has anybody... I've never heard there of CISA are, before. There are... Just, 17 intelligence agencies. And it's and, and it's so part would CISA of, count as an intelligence yeah. agency? Yeah, so I, the I t intelligence community, it's called. That's its official name, IC. Uh, that includes the FBI, the CIA, the NSA, as well as all of the intelligence agencies that are part of the military branches, as well as CISA, Department of Homeland Security, and several others. So when they say the deep state and the intelligence agencies, That's it's not that. just FBI, it's not just CIA, it's the other, it's CISA and the other 14 other intelligence agencies in that community. Yeah. The Lafer's there. You know, and people have been there for 40 years. So now, mm -hmm. now when you go, okay, well, why can't we just, do, why didn't Trump just drain the swamp the first time? Think about that. 17 intelligence agencies. It's colossal. That you'd have to dismantle and, and either do what Javier Malay did in Argentina, where he just started slashing different governments programs and different organizations how do you restructure 17 well, in four years the worst thing too is that you if you fire them you have to get the senate's approval to replace them with somebody new 
You know, so like the Senate's part of the swamp too. So if you get rid of somebody, you have to have the swamp approve your next pick. Yeah, and and like all these agencies too, like once they're created, they embed them so deep in the structure of the government that they can say, oh well, if you get rid of the whole agency, like wholesale, well then we're left vulnerable uh, on this vector of attack from China on cybersecurity. Um, and I bet they also like they pass all these agencies through acts and Senate, like originally. So in order to completely ban them you'd have to go back and pass new acts to to you know un underfund them or just delete them from existence and you know it's it's like once it's made it's so difficult to undo that you basically have to wait till the end of this cycle whatever that is before they all disappear and in the you meantime know, they'll have seven ways from sunday to take you down if you try to go after and them, that was as, and that was we yes, established. bragged about he mm -hmm. bragged uh, chuck schumer bragged yeah. about that on meet the press that these intelligence agencies when you go up against them there's seven ways from sunday that they can bring you down that's They're crazy terrified to me. from yeah. you know so, but how many more I, and i hate to be like i know when Vinny says how many more times and, and I get it how much more how many more things have to be put in front of you that we're told were conspiracy theories or taboo that then are presented and uh, they're not only presented as truth but acknowledged and then they use that and brag about it in front of you and right. then when you still go there's a deep state people go ah, conspiracy theory wear a tinfoil hat mm -hmm. but you didn't think we landed on the moon do we live on a flat earth are birds not real was 9 11 an inside job yes it was uh does the loch ness monster exist no it doesn't how about bigfoot you believe in that too <laughs> like that's at 5g it causes butt cancer like there's all those weird things that you get but look every time that we go hey there's this weird thing going on then they come out and they say it on the news and brag about it and all, use it as a well, threat problem, to intimidate the problem is that they could say that well, they stopped thousands of terrorist attacks over the last 10 or 20 years, but that's all classified. It's a matter of national security to not disclose how many they've actually stopped. So it could be zero or it could be 10,000. So 000. they take away your freedoms to justify protecting you, but then they're not telling you what they're protecting you from, the amount of protection they're giving you, but they use that mis that unknown information to justify continuing to take yeah. away your freedom. They work with people who are like criminals or slash terrorists. If they, you know, like they capture a really good hacker, they'll make them work for the CIA. So I guarantee if you, if you got rid of one of those programs, like they'd, you'd suddenly have a giant, crazy, either cyber attack, terrorist attack. And so they'll be like, Oh, see, that's why you needed us. And, and then and, the public will want them back. And, and add on top the, they don't know what each other is doing, you know, like uh, because CIA, yeah, yeah, they don't know what what it, there's there's strong competition. Yeah, I mean that's actually a really good point because really the only way out of this mess is if we confuse the hell out of them. And uh, there's like Humberto, we've talked before about Deleuze and Guattari. There's left wing theorists who have ideas about how to circumvent authoritarianism without creating another authoritarianism thing to go up against it. Um, you basically confuse the hell out of them and scramble them by putting out so many false signals that it just overwhelms and they can't even figure anything out because they can't figure out what's what's really going to happen or what's a lie. So the counter the counter insurgency is, doesn't happen in the form of actually draining the swamp. It's going to happen in the form of things getting so crazy and them having so much information to go through that they won't even have time to do it. And there's going to be so many of them all trying to bust the same person. They're going to end up like shooting themselves. And that's Wait, absolutely that's happening to the public right now. Like there's so much news and information that people don't even get outraged about the most outrageous things possible. Mm -hmm. So like instead of uh, censorship, it's information overload. Connor, so, I'll give you the last thought. Yeah, it's, it's like that video from a few years back of uh, an ATF guy shows up at a dude's doorstep and is harassing him about some gun he has. And the guy calls the local cops on the ATF agent. And that video ends with the ATF guy going to jail for resisting the cops who showed up. That's how you get around it. None of these people are at all coordinated and based on everything we know about how they communicate between departments, it's all old school analog stuff they never bothered to update. Mm -hmm. So it's possible to confuse them and get around them that way, but they're a, they're a problem in the meantime.